Deuteronomy chapter 13 If a prophet arises among you or a dreamer of dreams and gives you a sign or a wonder and the sign or wonder which he tells you comes to pass and if he says let us go after other gods which you have not known and let us serve them you shall not listen to the words of that prophet or to that dreamer of dreams for the lord your god is testing you to know whether you love the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul you shall walk after the lord your god and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and you shall serve him and cleave to him but that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death because he has taught rebellion against the lord your god who brought you out of the land of egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage to make you live the way in which the lord your god commanded you to walk so you shall purge the evil from the midst of you if your brother the son of your mother or your son or your daughter or the wife of your bosom or your friend who is as your own soul entices you secretly saying let us go and serve other gods which neither you nor your fathers have known some of the gods of the peoples that are around you whether near you or far from you from the one end of the earth to the other you shall not yield to him or listen to him nor shall your eye pity him nor shall you spare him nor shall you conceal him but you shall kill him your hand shall be first against him to put him to death and afterwards the hand of all the people you shall stone him to death with stones because he sought to draw you away from the lord your god who brought you out of the land of egypt of to the house of bondage and all israel shall hear and fear and never again do any such wickedness as this among you if you hear in one of your cities which the lord your god gives you to dwell there that certain base fellows have gone out among you and have drawn away the inhabitants of the city saying let us go and serve other gods which you have not known then you shall inquire and make search and ask diligently and behold if it be true and certain that such an abominable thing has been done among you you shall surely put the inhabitants of that city to the sword destroying it utterly all who are in it and its cattle with the edge of your sword you shall gather all its spoil into the midst of its open square and burn the city and all its spoil with fire as a whole burnt offering to the lord your god it shall be a heap forever it shall not be built again none of the devoted things shall cleave to your hand that the lord may turn from the fierceness of his anger and show you mercy and have compassion on you and multiply you as he swore to your fathers if you obey the voice of the lord your god keeping all his commandments which i command you this day and doing what is right in the sight of the lord your god Deuteronomy chapter 14 Pagan practices forbidden You are the sons of the Lord your God you shall not cut yourselves or make any baldness on your foreheads for the dead for you are a people holy to the Lord your God and the Lord has chosen you to be a people for his own possession out of all the peoples that are on the face of the earth clean and unclean foods You shall not eat any abominable thing. These are the animals you may eat: the ox, the sheep, the goat, the hart, the gazelle, the roebuck, the wild goat, the ibex, the antelope, and the mountain sheep. Every animal that parts the hoof and has the hoof cloven in two and chews the cud among the animals you may eat. Yet of those that chew the cud or have the hoof cloven you shall not eat these the camel the hare and the rock badger because they chew the cud but do not divide the hoof they are unclean for you and the swine because it spots the hoof but does not chew the cud it unclean for you their flesh you shall not eat 
and their carcasses you shall not touch of all that are in the waters you may eat these whatever has fins and scales you may eat and whatever does not have fins and scales you shall not eat it is unclean for you you may eat all clean birds but these are the ones you shall not eat the eagle the vulture the osprey the buzzard the kite after their kinds every raven of its kind the ostrich the night hawk the seagull the hawk after their kinds and the little owl and the great owl the water hen and the pelican the carrion vulture the cormorant the stork the heron after their kinds the hoopoe the bat and all winged insects are unclean for you they shall not be eaten all clean winged things you may eat you shall not eat anything that dies of itself you may give it to the alien who is within your towns that he may eat it or you may sell it to a foreigner for you are a people holy to the lord your god you shall not boil a kid in its mother's milk regulations concerning tithes you shall tithe all the yield of your seed which comes forth from the field year by year and before the lord your god in the place which he will choose to make his name dwell there you shall eat the tithe of your grain of your wine and of your oil and the firstlings of your herd and flock that you may learn to fear the lord your god always and if the way is too long for you so that you are not able to bring the tithe when the lord your god blesses you because the place is too far from you which the lord your god chooses to set his name there then you shall turn it into money and bind up the money in your hand and go to the place which the lord your god chooses and spend the money for whatever you desire oxen or sheep or wine or strong drink whatever your appetite craves and you shall eat there before the lord your god and rejoice you and your household and you shall not forsake the levite who is within your towns for he has no portion or inheritance with you at the end of every 3 years you shall bring forth all the tithe of your produce in the same year and lay it up within your towns and the levite because he has no portion or inheritance with you and the sojourner the fatherless and the widow who are within your towns shall come and eat and be filled that the lord your god may bless you in all the work of your hands that you do Deuteronomy chapter 15 laws concerning the sabbatical year at the end of every 7 years you shall grant a release and this is the manner of the release every creditor shall release what he has lent to his neighbor he shall not exact it of his neighbor his brother because the lord's release has been proclaimed of a foreigner you may exact it but whatever of yours is with your brother your hand shall release but there will be no poor among you for the lord will bless you in the land which the lord your god gives you for an inheritance to possess if only you will obey the voice of the lord your god being careful to do all this commandment which i command you this day for the lord your god will bless you as he promised you and you shall lend it to many nations but you shall not borrow and you shall rule over many nations but they shall not rule over you if there is among you a poor man one of your brethren in any of your towns within your land which the lord your god gives you you shall not harden your heart or shut your hand against your poor brother but you shall open your hand to him and lend him sufficient for his need whatever it may be take heed lest there be a base thought in your heart and you say the seventh year the year of release is near and your eye be hostile to your poor brother and you give him nothing and he cried to the lord against you and it be a sin in you you shall give him freely and your heart shall not be grudging when you give to him because 
for this the lord your god will bless you in all your work and in all that you undertake for the poor will never cease out of the land therefore i command you you shall open wide your hand to your brother to the needy and to the poor in the land if your brother a hebrew man or a hebrew woman is sold to you he shall serve you 6 years and in the 7th year you shall let him go free from you and when you let him go free from you you shall not let him go empty handed you shall furnish him liberally out of your flock out of your threshing floor and out of your wine press as the lord your god has blessed you you shall give him you shall remember that you were a slave in the land of egypt the lord your god redeemed you therefore i command you this day but if he says to you i will not go out from you because he loves you and your household since he fares well with you then you shall take an all and thrust it through his ear into the door and he shall be your bondman forever and your bondwoman you shall do likewise it shall not seem hard to you when you let him go free from you for at half the cost of a hired servant he has served you 6 years so the lord your god will bless you in all that you do the first born of livestock all the firstling males that are born of your herd and flock you shall consecrate to the lord your god you shall do no work with the firstling of your herd nor shear the firstling of your flock you shall eat it you and your household before the lord your god year by year at the place which the lord will choose but if it has any blemish if it is lame or blind or has any serious blemish whatever you shall not sacrifice it to the lord your god you shall eat it with the new towns the unclean and the clean alike may eat it as though it were a gazelle or a hart only you shall not eat its blood you shall pour it out on the ground like water 